uh, Steve, uh, it had to be a special experience, A, caddying again this year for Bobby, but then, you know, for her to come through the way she did this week has yeah. got to be just kind of one of those special, maybe beyond father-daughter moments. It is. It was really cool to see her, and to see her progress from last year, you know, is, is really the cool thing for me. Um, you know, she handled this with... Um, with greatness, really. I mean, she she stepped up to the plate when she had to, and and uh, did the things she had to at the time she had to do them. So, uh, I'm proud of her for doing that and and uh, hanging in there when she, some couple of days she didn't have her best stuff, but today she hit it great and uh, had a lot of opportunities today. And on a, on probably the more challenging day mentally, right. you know, you, right. you know you have a big cushion. It's like trying to win a golf tournament with a big lead, and and uh, all you got to do is get through. Sure. Right. So. Yep. Uh, it's a challenging day for all these girls, so she handled it great. And um, a year ago when you left with her, how far away did you think she was from maybe doing this for a living? And does this week change that opinion a lot? Yeah, I think just seeing her progress uh, throughout this year, and, and that's kind of what I've been telling her from day one, is like, listen, you're you're getting in this game late. You know, she played mm -hmm. tennis in high school, right? She didn't even, she walked on at Wisconsin. and and you know, slowly made it to the number one spot on that team, you know, over four years. So she's got a lot of potential. She's late to the game, so she's learning all the time. Um, you know, so there's, and I go around with her and I still see some things that we really need to work on and try to improve. And, but she's, I think the tennis thing really helped her out because she played doubles and she, mm -hmm. the, her partner was relying on her, you know, to hit a second serve in or something like right. that. And it's kind of carried over to golf. and. Uh, she, when she has to do something, she usually stands in there and does it. So um, she's learned a lot in this year, and she needs to continue to learn, but she's on a great path. So now you've got to juggle the second stage of qualifying <laughs> school. <is> it? with <laughs> uh, It's the early, I think it's like, I want to say 11th through the 14th of October. Is it? So there's a little bit of a break there. And yeah. it's at something Plantation Golf Course in Florida. Florida. Yeah. Bobcat and the Panther Course is what I oh, remember. Oh, really? And uh, I could have sworn there's something there. That is it Orange County? No, I don't think so. No. It okay. almost, but anyway, it, it uh, so, um, but and then with you know maybe the Schwab Cup playoffs, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, you got a busy fall. Too. Don't forget oh, that. deer hunting. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. That's the most important thing. Yeah, I'm sorry, Steve. Um, yeah, no, but this is this is going to be great. I mean, to, and and might I add, Izzy probably with a state oh, yeah, tournament Izzy run. Is so state tournament yeah, run. yeah, we had that all mapped out that we we're going to be home for Izzy's big events. You know, sectionals, and right. regionals, and finals. Hopefully, they make it to state. Yep. Uh, yeah, so this is all good, you know, um, you know, all good stuff that we have to worry about and juggle our schedule for and, and uh, throw some playing and uh, hunting in there all at the same time. So it'll be a busy fall, but looking forward to it. Well, safe travels back and uh, congratulations on a great week. Thanks, Rob.